What's going on, y'all? I just want to give a quick heads up on what I think is coming. I'm going to put myself out there and say it. We are headed toward a recession, and I just want to make this video a basis of how to prepare for it. Now, some people are saying we're already in a recession. I don't really agree with that because I don't think it's gotten to that point yet, but I do think we are very, very close. Like inside of the next maybe, I don't know, six to 12 months, we could very well be within a recession. But I, I could be wrong. I'm not really here to predict it, nor am I claiming that I'm some expert who can just predict when we're going to have a recession. I don't, I, my mind doesn't work that way. I'm just here to say, I think based off of what I'm seeing, we are headed toward a recession. And here is how I think you should prepare for it. But let's be honest though, even if we weren't heading toward a recession, this is still a really good video to watch to prepare for one. Like you don't want to wait for a recession to prepare for a recession. That's kind of like drinking a lot of water once you realize you're dehydrated. It's too late. Dig your well before you're thirsty. So that brings me to my first point. Make sure your finances are in order. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, I'm going to tell you in just a second. But I want you to definitely make sure you pay close attention to the other two videos I posted this week about the cold money advice and how to master budgeting and saving money because those are gonna be fundamental things that you're gonna to need to learn and get really good at in order to have your money in order. Now, when I say get your money in order, what I mean is savings need to look on point, your budget needs to look on point, you shouldn't have high interest debt, you should have a good cushion of savings in your main account, and you should have a solid emergency fund or you're at least starting to build a solid emergency fund. And you wanna just have this like that whether we're pre-recession or not. Because what happens is years like 2020 happens. That wasn't a recession. It was just a random blip of time, which seemed like a really long time, by the way, where the whole world shut down. People were laid off. People were furloughed. People were without jobs. People were let go, right? So that should tell you it could happen during a recession or not. You don't know what's going to happen. We might not have another pandemic in your lifetime. I don't know. We might. But to me, it's not about predicting it or if I think like I'm going to be ready regardless. You got to be ready. That way you don't have to get ready when it's too late. So if your money is in good health, you have the savings, you don't have the high interest debt and your budget's on point and you know exactly how to manage your money and you're sitting on five figures you're gonna have a lot less to worry about than someone who isn't prepared. So if you want more in-depth information on getting your money in order, definitely check out those other two videos I just mentioned. I'll have them linked up here. So another thing to focus on that adds on top of all this chaos is the fact that there's a worldwide food shortage going on right now, and it's only gonna get worse. I don't think we're heading toward like a pre-apocalyptic type of world. What I'm saying is the worldwide food shortage is affecting other countries and us. It's going to definitely affect the less fortunate companies a lot more than us. For us, we're going to see a lot of the prices just skyrocket. Like they're projected to go up another 22% by the end of this year. So having this information right now, you might want to stock up on some food, like stuff like rice, noodles, stuff that isn't going to expire like immediately. Definitely look for the non-perishables, the canned foods stuff like that for one that can prevent several repeats of the year 2020 when people were fighting over toilet paper instead this time you might be fighting over stuff like baby food because seriously baby food is like disappearing off the racks right now and that's happening right now besides if you start actually stocking up on a lot of these things now the price isn't going to hit you as much as someone who's going then when the prices are skyrocketed and then i can probably imagine a, a repeat of 2020 is going to happen again where they limit the amount of things you can actually grab from the shelf per person or per family so i was de so i would definitely say be prepared for that but also be mindful of this the food prices are going up steadily gas prices as well a bunch of things are going up so you might need to refine your budget and you're definitely going to want to keep frivolous spending to a minimum I still want you to enjoy your life and do what you can and enjoy your money, but I want you to be careful with it and not like get overzealous with your spending. I've done that before and I think we all have, but you definitely don't want to do it in the middle of a recession. That said, even though I already covered that you want to have your finances in order, you're also going to want to save as much money as you can. And that goes hand in hand with the keeping the frivolous spending at a minimum. Like you're going to want to keep some cash liquid that you can have quick access to. 
And I ain't talking about going to your bank and taking a bunch of your money out and then putting it under your mattress. That ain't going to work. For one, if you do that, your money is not going to go up in value. I mean, it's not going up much in value at the bank either. Don't get me wrong, but it's going up more than it would be in your mattress. I say that because I've seen a lot of people do that, especially in 2020, and they actually went to the bank, took a bunch of their money out, and it was just like, it ended up not being necessary is what I'm getting at. On that same token, I want you to really understand something. This is what you've got to be prepared for in a recession. The stock market is going to get worse. It's already pretty bad, but it's going to get even worse, and your retirement fund, like your 401k, is going to lose money. Like it's gonna go down. This is completely normal. Since you expect it to go down, I'm telling you right now, you can do what you wanna do, but I'm telling you, it's not wise to go into your 401k and take the money out because you think it's gonna to go to zero. Not wise to do. And if you don't believe me, you can, you can consult with a financial professional because I am definitely not one of those. I am definitely not a financial advisor, but I'll tell you this, what goes up must go down. The stock market has been super high for the past few years it's been really really good green even in 2020 it was pretty solid after that little blip it had and then in 2021 it was just like it was a really good year for the stock market but 2022 not so much and the same rule applies with a down market it must come back up so what i'm saying is if you're if you see that your 401k is going down just shut it off don't even look at it so I'm just saying, please don't take all your money out because let's say your 401k goes down $20,000 and you had $50,000 and so now you have $30,000 left, right? So you take the $30,000 out and now you get taxed on that money as if it were income plus whatever other penalties you get from withdrawing early. You're not going to have $30,000. You might have like $16,000 left and that's being generous only for you to find out that three or four months later, let's even say 12 months later, that your 401k would have recovered and surpassed where it was when it was $50,000. But you won't get to reap those benefits if you just take all the money out of it. You can't be doing that. I watched a lot of folks do that in 2020 and I'm not judging them because they, they didn't know, but I'm telling you, I was like, well, no, nah, I know it's gonna recover. So I just, I let mine sit and it ended up more than doubling. So what I'm saying is in a recession, don't put yourself in a position to lose even more money when everything else is already going downhill around you. It's just not a good idea. And that all goes back to this. Whenever you invest, whether it's a 401k or just something that you're investing in on your own accord, invest money that you can afford to lose. Then you won't be worried so much about pulling it out and, and having something like and that and it goes back to the first thing i said make sure your finances are in order if your finances are in order why are you even looking at your 401k like if your money is in order and you're living below your means and you have a solid amount of money in more than one savings account and you have constant income coming in from your job or work, however you make money and you've made yourself valuable you're gonna have a lot less to worry about. You're not gonna to need to worry about your 401k or whatever the case is. People think back to the past where things were real, real bad and they think it's about to happen again, but that's that's not really the case. Like what I'm, what I'm, what I'm getting at is you don't wanna panic. As long as you have a plan for something, there's no reason to, uh, to panic. I almost said panic. But yeah, there's, there's no reason to panic. Because if you know, okay, a recession is coming, let me start preparing for it, let me start planning, you're good. And the sooner you have that plan in place, the better. And uh, another, thing about, another thing about recessions, another way to prepare for it, I'll say, is protecting yourself. During recessions, it's a known fact that crime goes up. Crimes of all kinds, they just go up. People are really, like human nature is something else. When people really need things, they will go to pretty much any length to get what they want or need. And that includes hurting people. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, protection. Uh, protection comes in many forms. Metals, you know what I'm saying? Click, clack, boom, boom. Uh, or maybe it's like metals like swords, knives, however you wanna protect yourself but I recommend investing in something that can protect you and your family in the event that something goes down or someone tries to break into your house or something like that. It's a very important topic that I think more people need to be mentally prepared for. And I think it's a conversation that more people should have more often. 
because these things do happen. My, and if you so happen to have money in excess during these times, and you're really not worried about anything catastrophic happening, or even if something catastrophic did happen, you'd still be good financially, you can do what I'm definitely gonna be doing, and that's taking advantage of a down stock market and getting a bunch of my favorite stocks on a huge discount. I always remember this, in times of catastrophe, uncertainty, and dysfunction, there is immense opportunity. And one of those opportunities is the stock market. Everybody's gonna be freaking out and, and acting a fool. You, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> that's what's gonna be happening. But in that, when people are acting like that and getting all worked up, that is a time of immense opportunity. And by that, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money, despite there being a recession. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover today with how to prepare for a recession. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Hopefully you got a little laugh out of it. But more than anything, hopefully you got some valuable information and you learned maybe something that you didn't know. Anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.